Hey guys, so we are in my kitchen right now and I wanted to show you what I have been recently buying for my holiday shopping. And you know, Ulta, Sephora, Macy's, they all have some type of sale. And especially when it pertains to makeup, it's usually really good sales. So I could not hold myself and I decided to go ahead and shop around. And I found some good deals, you guys. So let me go ahead and get started. I'll show you what I got. Now, the two most exciting parts of the this haul will be my Lorac Pro 3 palette, which is just, oh my God. Like I have a Lorac Pro 1 and you guys, that's my favorite palette ever. Lorac Shadows formula is amazing and um, it is my top, top formula ever. So I'm so excited. It also came with this little eyeshadow primer. And so, my goodness, it's like the color's washing out. Do you see that? Where do I focus it at? Oh, maybe right here. Okay. Um, so, let me open it out for you guys. And isn't this beautiful? This is so beautiful. And I know for a fact it's going to be pigmented. It's going to blend well because I've worked with that formula before. And of course I had to pick up the Naked Heat. And uh, by the way, both of these palettes were 50% off. So how do you not go for that? Um, and they were on random days and I was like, uh, yeah, I'm getting it. Um, so Naked Heat is the one that everybody raves about. Um, I know a lot of people love the Naked Heat, the, the little one, the petite one. And so I was like, let me see what it's all about. By the way, as I'm making this video, the Naked 3 palette is on sale. It's not 50% off, but it is um, $10 off. So if you are looking, if you don't have the Naked, how do you open this thing? If you don't have the Naked palette yet, oh, that's because this thing. Why do they have to? By the way, you're in my kitchen right now. I started filming in my kitchen because we recently moved. I know you guys have been asking me, where have you been? You haven't been making videos. It's been it's been very busy and very kind of rough time for me. Um, we are now living in my in-laws house. Um, it is not because we lost our house or anything like that. It is because we sold it and we want to kind of purchase something else. But... Um, I know it's been like it's been rough with the move and everything and the film set up like I don't know where to make my videos anymore and so this is our naked and of course my memory was full on my card because I haven't done this in a while you guys so bear with me please forgive my setup um, this will probably be the new setup for me for a little while until we find a new house okay another awesome find that I got on great sale this was only $12 was the Nubian by Juvia's. And this is for now is all Ulta. But different, different purchases. It's not like I purchased everything at once. I just wanted to kind of show you everything at once. And I know that I'm in love with this palette already. It's kind of, I love neutral palettes, you guys. I really do. It is a bit darker than it shows on camera. But it's, you know, I really wanted to try their shadows everybody raves about them so of course I had to give it a try I also wanted to try one of the Mac brushes like I've never had a makeup brush by Mac and I know like in the beginning of YouTube everybody was just talking about Mac eye brushes and how good they are and so I got this little set it was on sale you have an eyeshadow you have a brush and you have a base so the eyeshadow is the iconic satin taupe. You guys know everybody, you know, if you've been watching YouTube for a while, everybody was talking about that eyeshadow back in the day. I don't know if they still do. Where is my focus point? It's right here. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Because I started doing manual focus because the, the camera was trying to focus on, you know, different objects. Now this came in a little bit bent. Oh, if I do this, yes. That's what you can see. Came in a little bent, but I think we will straighten it out. It is interesting texture. Like, reminds me of the other brushes that I own, like some of the Morphe brushes. And I remember people were comparing Morphe to MAC. 
said that it's like a dupe or um, a good alternative. It is a little softer. It is a little softer though. And this is the 217 brush. And then of course this base and the eyeshadow. I think it's a really good deal because you get three product, three MAC products. And one of them is their brush, which is usually expensive. So um, I basically paid for the brush and then got the two items for free because it was on sale. All right, let's move on. I'm just going to turn the camera around just a tiny bit. Then I got this butter bronzer. I already own one, but I own the lighter version, which is pretty light. This is just like their regular bronze. It's called, I guess it's called a bronzer. I love the formula of this bronzer. It's my favorite. Um, it's almost like you cannot go wrong with it. You cannot mess it up. So I uh, highly recommend this bronzer. Then I also got this brush. This was six bucks. It seemed like it had really good reviews, so I'm like, I'll, I'll give it a try. This is by Diane from, from, oh, right here. Gosh, I am so bad today, you guys. I'll probably get a lot of thumbs down for this video. But, you know, those of you who have been watching me for a while, you guys rock. And thank you for hanging in through all my life's hardships and changes. Because every time I have a change in my life, I stop making videos for a while. And, and I can't believe that you guys are still hanging on <laughs> and checking in on me. This is like amazing. I truly have some some good YouTube friends right there. But I tried this brush. I think I'll return it. It's a bit too rough for me, you guys. It's almost like scratching. I don't know. It's just, it rips my hair out and it's just too rough. I, my favorite brush of all time is the wet, wet, wet brush. I can never pronounce the double between these. But anyways, I'll probably go to uh, TJ Maxx and pick that one up. All right, so that I went nuts with mascaras because they were on sale, especially L'Oreal mascaras. And I picked up four, you guys, four of the Lush Paradise. They were like $5 to begin with, and then I could use my coupon, the 20% off coupon, um, and they ended up being very affordable. And it's holiday season, so obviously I have a lot of people who I'm planning on giving presents to. And you cannot go wrong with this mascara, you guys. So obviously my mom and my mom-in-law and my sister are going to get these mascaras. And, and then I picked up, oh, this is coming undone, the Covergirl mascaras. And they are the Lash Blast volume. Again, this is like the mascara that I've tried before and I really liked. Very affordable and very, very good. So I picked up two of these. And then the Telescopic Mascara by L'Oreal. I saw that it had good reviews on Ulta and it was pretty affordable. So a lot cheaper than you can get at the CVS. I remember trying it before, but I don't remember if I liked it or not. So I decided to give it a try again. And then this L'Oreal, man, I'm like, is this L'Oreal? Oh no, this is the flower, the flower beauty. Oh, I'm so glad I tried this, okay. I forgot that I even bought this, but this is the Ver uh, Lash Warrior Mascara by Flower Beauty. Apparently it should be really good because it had awesome reviews. You know what you guys, I'm thinking that the video of all these mascaras comparison is coming. Of Tarte Amazonian Clay Mascara. Uh, this is the one that I had, I tried the um, little sample of and I loved it. So I'm like, uh, you know, it's on sale. It was like 50% off and I could still use my 28% off coupon, so of course I had to pick it up. And another mascara I've tried and loved is the Eye... What is it called? Ico. That's right. <laughs> Easy. Ico mascara. And this is the Lash Alert. It's the one that curls your lashes. It's like the curvy one. So again, it was like 50% off, added 20% off uh, my discount and I got it for very, very cheap. Or not cheap, but affordable, I should say. And of course, I had to pick up the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Because people are talking about it. It has good reviews. I wanted to try it for myself. Is it Revolution Makeup or Breakup Revolution? I'm sorry, you guys. I do this in every video, and I'm just not sure. It's the Super Size Concealer. I have 
the other one, the, the smaller size, and it's pretty good. So I decided to give this one a try. Also has some, some good reviews. Trying out some things and trying to trust the reviews on Ulta. I got a lot of the like hair stuff. Well, not a lot, but a lot more than I usually do. All right. And so we have the Mark Anthony True Professional Coconut Oil Sheer Butter Leave-In Conditioner. Tried this. I don't like it. I mean, um, it makes my hair easier to brush. So it's almost like a little detangler. I guess my hair is a little softer after that. But it's the Freshen Up Dry Shampoo. And I haven't tried this one yet, but I'll give it a try and we'll see what happens. And this is another product that I picked up from this company. Therapy Session Hair Mask. I need my hair to be healthy again. So we will see. Good reviews again. And then I wanted to try some things from Soap and Glory. Have you guys tried this company before? It seems very cool. It is your drugstore company, but I picked up this Clean On Me Creamy Clarifying Shower Gel, which smells delicious. It smells really good. And then I got the Righteous Butter Lotion, I think, the cream. Yeah, this is very dry skin, so this is definitely for me. Skin gets so dry in winter time, it's crazy. All right, let's just finish up with Ulta and then I'll show you what I grabbed from other, other stores, which is um, still kind of coming in the mail. So I'll have to do a few more of these, you know. I remember trying this particular K-Pack um, color therapy from jo Joico through one of the subscription boxes. And I remember loving it. So I picked it up again, we'll see how that goes. Same thing for this. This is still that K-Pack Deep Penetrating Reconstructor for damaged hair. Definitely need it with my highlights. Um, and these are just like travel sizes. So they were under $3 because they were $3. And then I could use the coupon, the coupon or coupon for color treated hair. And um, so this is like the conditioner, I believe. No, this is the shampoo. And this is the shampoo I picked up too. Shampoo is all right, you guys. I obviously don't remember. When I shop, I'm in like this weird, weird zone. It's almost like therapeutic for me. And then I kind of forget what I ordered, which is not good. I mean, not everything. It's just like these little things that I order that I'm thinking it's going to be good at the time. I forget about. So um, these two shampoos, I'm going to give it a try. They're tiny though. I don't know if they're like even worth $2, but... We'll see. And another Joico. This is the Blonde Life Brightening Mask. Okay, that I need because my highlights are getting a little brassy. And the last thing that I picked up is this little pintail comb. Comb? Comb? I also shopped at Macy's. Macy's had some good deals, some good sales, and I had a little gift card which came in handy. Picked up the Clinique All Bad Eyes Reduces Dark Circles puff and Deep Puffs, basically, and the Clinique Prep Start Eye Cream. I heard that it's very effective for your dark under eye circles and bags, and I wanted to give it a try for myself. So we will see you guys. If you want to review, you can definitely let me know in the comments below, because I've tried a lot of products. And unfortunately, I don't keep like the containers I should. But I've been trying a lot of the deep puffing products and honestly, not a lot of them are good or even close to good or mediocre. I got this little gift from Macy's to kind of gift with purchase. So that little lotion, well not little, look at that. This is like free, you know, got this for free. Where are you? Right there. This is definitely bigger size than this travel size that I got, that I got to buy. Okay, enough complaining. And then this is from Sonia Kashuk. I got it at Target, has good reviews. It's a little beauty sponge. I am planning on making a video comparing, oh, there's a cat hair right there. It's my cat, of course. Just comparing different beauty sponges. I have a lot of them. I feel like I've tried most of them. 
and some are really good some are like even close to being better than the beauty blender the original beauty blender this one has good reviews so i wanted to give it a try and it was pretty affordable it was like oh god what was it six dollars i believe i'll let you guys know in my video comparing these little things okay so that was my haul thank you guys so much for watching bye